I got more comfortable on the mound. I just started throwing more strikes. Was it a specific pitch you were able to turn to? Or was it a, was it a turning point batter or something like that? Can, can you pinpoint anything that, that kind of made the change for you? Um, no, not really. I think I, early I was trying to make you know the perfect pitch to every batter, and uh, after I want to say like the third or something, I just you know decided I was just gonna pump the strike, pump the strikes in more of my fastball, and then. Uh, Speed. Last year, after spending some time as a number three guy, you guys be the number two guy today. How much does it help your confidence go out just like you did this evening? Um, I mean, it definitely helps. I, um, I'm just glad the coaching staff, you know, let me find it out there. You know, maybe if I was a freshman, I wouldn't have had big of a leash to you know find the strikes in but uh, thank you for that and I, I found found it there at the end. Uh, I think most of your appearances last year especially second half of the year were in a relief load. Do you have to get them now into the back into the mode of thinking of like a starter rather than thinking like a reliever? Um maybe maybe a little bit just just with the Time that you have before the start, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of time just sitting around waiting. But um, warming up wise, I, I feel like it's not that big of an adjustment. You know, just get out there, and it's almost better to think it as a reliever. So you just get in there, pound the strikes in, not knowing how long you'll be in. From the pitcher's perspective, has the change in bats changed your approach to pitching this year? Um, maybe a little. I mean, the, the hitters can. Definitely still get it, you know, hit a home run, but uh, pounding the strikes in a little more, not trying to be as fine, just throw more strikes. Any other questions from Pat? Okay. What about the slide at home play? It looks like the ball beat you, but look, you got around the, got around the uh, pad. Yeah, I got to thank Wingo for that. He, he guided me to where, to where to go, and he let me know to slide toward, towards the outside of the bag. I was able to sneak in there. Yeah, what, what was different about today than yesterday? Y'all had 13 hits yesterday, and y'all had some base runners early, but um, seemed like um, some guys were caught napping a little bit on the base pass. Um, we were just a little sloppy early. Um, their pitcher kept us uh, off balance a little bit. Um, but yeah, we were just sloppy early. Was he throwing anything in particular, or is he just mixing it up? Or? Yeah, he, he was just mixing it up. I mean, he, he was throwing his change up to lefties, uh, keeping some of the guys off balance, some of the lefties off balance, and uh, coming in hard on the righty. Uh, we got to tip our hat to him. He, he, had a, he threw a pretty good game. Any questions for Adrian? Uh, what, what did you see out of Webb? It looked like he was a little shaky early, but really settled in, got 12 in a row. What changed for him out there in your in your eyes? Uh, just trying to get comfortable. Um, you know, he gave the, run, the, the one run in the first, and then he settled in, and he, you know, like you said, he kept his composure, and he got 12 in a row. Uh, showed real maturity there. Adrian, how beneficial is it to get a very close, tight win this early in the season? Um, it's beneficial, but it's still not where we want to be at because, I mean, we're still sloppy early. So, but yeah, I mean, it was a grind out win. Uh, our bullpen, Harper and Price, were, were phenomenal. I mean, you can't ask can't for nothing better. Anything else, Adrian? Okay.